Welcome back to another episode of Commission Ed. Super excited to talk about this one because it is central and important to everything that we do in the Air Force. That is the topic of promotions. Yes, no topic will be more important to the duration of your Air Force career than am I gonna get promoted? Am I gonna get promoted on time? What do I need to do to get promoted? It's a central fact of being a member of the Air Force and being a member of the Department of Defense. Absolutely. So let's understand a little bit about how promotions work. What, what are the things that, that govern the process? Understanding that promotions in active duty look a little bit different from how promotions are in the Guard and Reserve. So let's start with active duty, Reed. Yeah, so we're gonna focus on active duty and specifically on who's in charge of promotions. It's Congress. Congress has passed a variety of laws, DOPMA and ROPMA. We'll provide links in the description below to where you can find out all the information about what those laws are, but they've created a system specifically built to create the right talent in the right position at the right time in order to lead our nation successfully in combat. Exactly right, Reed. So Congress has stipulated the process for promoting officers. Let's talk about the, the first three ranks, lieutenant through captain. When you receive your commission, you are given the rank of second lieutenant. You're gonna wear that for two years, and assuming that you don't make any silly mistakes, you're, you're doing your job, you're considered competent, you will automatically be promoted to first lieutenant. And then the same is true for captain. You wear first lieutenant for those two years, you do well in your job, you don't make any uh, really serious mistakes, and then you are given captain. But beyond that, Reed, things really start to change based on how Congress has set up this system. Exactly. So right in Title 10 and part of the Constitution, it's the Congress's job to field armed forces. And once you hit that grade of 03 and start competing for 04 or in the Air Force, the rank of major, they start to play a much larger role. You will have competitive promotion boards and there's a very specific number of officers that can fill those positions. Um, with the first few ranks, you will rank up on the day, the anniversary of your commissioning. There's some intricacies into that, but we won't go into all those details. But for promotion 04, there's a very different process. You're given a specific line number. The number of officers that are allowed to promote in a month are very tightly controlled. And all of that's published when that time comes. But the bottom line is once you start promoting above captain to major, lieutenant colonel and above, it starts getting a whole lot more competitive. Absolutely. And that process is controlled by a central selection promotion board, or just the board, right? And the board is going to take a look at your paper records. This is not a board or a uh, an interview where you show up in person and you get to make your case of why it is that you should be promoted. Rather, it's your records that will go to the central location, typically going to be in uh, in San Antonio, Texas, at Randolph, Randolph Air Force Base, the Air Force Personnel Center. And there, a group of officers are going to look at your records and make a decision based on what they see there, whether or not you are worthy of a promotion to the, the next rank. So it's really, really important that you maintain your records, that they are kept up to date, that they are accurate, and that responsibility lies with you. But you know, before we even get there, Colin, why are we talking about this? A lot of our audience, they're not even commissioned. Why, if I'm a student in ROTC, do I care about promotions yet? That's a really good question, Reed. And the reason is, is because some of the decisions that you make today will have consequences and repercussions even 10, 15 years down the road. For example, the, the commissioning source that you select can have an impact on how and when you meet a promotion board. For example, the uh, the Air Force Academy, they graduate before any other commissioning source. And so their date of rank is sooner than everybody else, which also means they're gonna promote sooner. Also means they're going to meet the promotion boards sooner. And so if you, uh, if you play this out across all of the different commissioning sources, how and when you get promoted and the opportunities that are then available to you because of your commissioning source, that can really uh, come into play in all of this. Yeah, and that's just one small aspect. You know, Colin, we go in depth into how promotions work and some things you need to think about in one of our podcast episodes. We'll put a link to that in the description. 
But something that I wanna hit on is how important timing is. Timing is really critical. Where you are, when your promotion board meets, who your boss is at that time, and how well you're performing in that job are really, really important factors. And if you take an assignment as a young second lieutenant that sets your timing off, you may not even know that that's gonna have an impact in the future. So timing's really important, and understanding this stuff ahead of time will be really key into setting you up for whatever you define as success. And I think that's the next thing we should talk about. Absolutely. Everybody gets to design, de define success for themselves, but let's say, uh, let's be, be honest here, Congress has defined success in terms of promotion. That if you promote, you are therefore successful, and if you don't promote, you are not, and eventually you will be asked to leave the you will be asked to leave the service. Yeah, that's an essential part of DOTMA is this upper out. Uh, the reason that was created was so that we didn't get stagnation at the top, senior officers staying in too long, not enough new ideas, fresh. And who are we kidding? This is also a, a young person's game. It's a pretty brutal lifestyle. So that's the reason for that, but it also puts a lot of pressure. If you don't promote at the right time, you may be asked to leave a little bit before you maybe wanted to. And that leads us to probably the most important thing we need to talk about today. A lot of what goes into promotion is not up to you. And if you're gonna define your success as a specific rank or a specific position, and you don't have a lot of say in that, Colin, you and I would offer that they should probably think about where their priorities are. Yeah, absolutely. We talk all the time about the importance of being self-aware and defining your own success. And sometimes that success may be outside of a specific rank or uh, position or maybe even the Air Force. And so you need to be honest with yourself as well as with the people around you, the, your stakeholders in your life, the people that you, you love and care about and say, hey, if I take this this rank or position, is that going to put me on a path to uh, the, the success that I want for myself or I want for my family or does it lie somewhere else? And that can be a really tough conversation. Yeah, everything surrounding promotions and rank and money and power, all those things can get really complicated really quick. So Colin, I think the thing I wanna leave the folks with today is, you know, a lot of this stuff about promotions are not up to you. So you should control the things that you can. You should do the best you can with the job you've been asked to do. If you have some power to make decisions about timing and other things of that nature, you need to take hold of that. You gotta get informed and do what you can control because other than that, it's not gonna be up to you. Yeah, and the things that you can control are your character, your competence, and hopefully your connection with other people. Yes, others get a vote in, in how well you connect with them, but if you can control those three things, then you, you know that you've done your best and everything's gonna work out just as it should. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us today. Like and subscribe. We wanna hear from you, our audience. You can engage with us on social media or at airforceofficerpodcast at gmail.com. We're happy to answer questions. We've provided some links in the description to where we go in depth about timing on promotions, about when your board meets and how you can know all that information. And we're always happy to answer any questions about this ever changing and ever important topic. Absolutely. Yeah, notice that we didn't cover everything that, that goes into promotions. There's just no possible way that we can get to it all. Uh, for example, we didn't even talk about the, the guard and reserve and how promotions happen there. So absolutely, if you have questions, if you want more information, engage with us in the Heritage Room, in on social media, send us an email. We'll be happy to, uh, to answer those questions for you. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today on Commission Ed.